So friends, continuing from where we last left, this is the question which is based on LCM type 1. I will read out the question for you. A number n when divided by 2, 3, 5 leaves a remainder of 1. Find the smallest possible number n. Find the smallest possible 4 digit number n. Find the largest possible 4 digit number n. These three parts are the parts of this question. You have to find out that how many possible, what is the answers of these three parts and then this question is very much like this. In the last question I told you that the number n which when divided by a, b, c leaves the remainder of r. So I told you the form. You have to use the exact same form here. So you first write down this question and then I will explain you this question. You just first jot it down. I will give you half a minute for it. Jot it down this question. I will again repeat the question for you. The question is a number n when divided by 2, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5 leaves a remainder of 1. The first question is find the smallest possible number n. The second question is find the smallest possible 4 digit number n. And the third question is find the largest possible 4 digit number n. Divided by 2, 3, 5 remainder 1. I am rubbing it. You can remind the ID and jot down the question. Now, the division is by 2, 3 and 5. That means the number which when divided by 2, 3, 5 leaves a remainder of 1. Now leave apart the remainder. First of all, in order to solve this question, we have to calculate that what is that smallest number which is exactly divisible by 2, which is exactly divisible by 3 and which is exactly divisible by 5. This is our first challenge. And at the first place, we have to find out that which is this number, which is that smallest number which is divisible by exactly divisible by 2, exactly divisible by 3 and exactly divisible by 5. And in order to do that, we have to find the LCM of 2, 3 and 5. First of all, we have to find the LCM of 2, 3, 5. This LCM of 2, 3, 5 will come out as 30. So 30 is the smallest number which is when divisible by which is divisible by 2, which is divisible by 3, which is divisible by 5. You can do it by the factorization method. There is no need to factorize. The numbers are already factorized and they are in the prime form. You can also do it by division method and you can also do it by multiplication method. So LCM of 2, 3 and 5 comes out as 30. In the multiplication method you can do it like this. 5 into 1 is 5. 5 into 2 is 10. 10 is divisible by 2 but 10 is not divisible by 3. 5 into 3 15. 15 is divisible by 3 but 15 is not divisible by 2. 5 into 4 20. 20 is divisible by 2 but 20 is not divisible by 3. 5 into 5 25. 25 is neither divisible by 3 nor divisible by 2. 5 into 6 30. 30 is divisible by 2 also. 30 is divisible by 3 also. So the LCM of 2, 3 and 5 comes out as 30. Now the 30 is the smallest number which is which when which is exactly divisible by 2, 3, 5. Now we have to count the remainder also. What is the remainder? The remainder is 1. Now remember that form. I told you the form. The form was something like this. A, B, C whole K plus R. What was this? R was the remainder. What was the constant of proportionality? LCM A, B, C. What the LCM came out here? 30. So I write at this place 30. Whole K. This is the constant. Plus R. What is the remainder in this question? 1. Now in order to find the smallest such number, we have to put the value of k equals to 1. I again repeat, in order to find the smallest number, we have to put the value of k is equals to 1. So when we put k is equals to 1, what will it come out as? 30 into 1 plus 1. So 31. So 31 is the smallest number which when divided by 2 will leave a remainder of 1, which when divided by 3 will leave a remainder of 1, which when divided by 5 leave a remainder of 1. Obviously, the very first number which when divided by 2 will leave remainder under 1 is 3. But here, we have to consider all the cases simultaneously. That is, we have to find that number which simultaneously when divided by 2, 3 and 5. Simultaneously and individually, not successively. So, when simultaneously and individually a number is divided by 2, 3 and 5, then the remainder is 1. Then that case, the smallest possible number is 31. Because LCM of 2, 3, 5 is 30. And in that, we, we are going to add 1 which is the remainder. So it comes out as 31. When 31 divided by 2, remainder is 1. 
when 31 is divided by 3, the remainder is 1, when 31 is divided by 5, the remainder is 1. So 31 is that smallest number, that smallest natural number which when divided by 2, 3 and 5 leaves a remainder of 1. Next thing, this was our first question, that what is the smallest possible number of the form n. Now, the second is, what is the smallest possible 4 digit number of the form n. Smallest possible 4 digit number. So let us look at it. This form is not going to change. We have to find out the smallest possible 4 digit number. Now if I ask you a question then what is the smallest possible 4 digit number? What will be your answer? Your answer will be 1000. 1000 is the smallest possible 4 digit number. You have to find a number which is either this 1000 but 1000 is divisible by 2. And we have to find a number which when divided by 2 leaves a remainder of 1 though so 1000 cannot be that number. It has to be greater than it. Because if you are going to select a number which is less than 1000, then obviously it will violate that condition. The condition is that we have to find the smallest possible 4 digit number. So at least that number should be greater than 1000. So we have to look for numbers that are greater than 1000 and satisfy this condition. This is our challenge here. So in that case, the number should be of this form only. Because I have told you for LCM type 1, this is the form. This is the standard form. LCM of A, B, C into K plus R. LCM of A, B, C is the normal LCM, K is the constant of proportionality and R is the remainder. So this thing cannot be violated. And using this thing, I made this form because A, B, C is given to me, R is given to me, so this form was there. And we have to find a number of this form which is greater than 1000. So what we have to do, we have to check by putting the value of K. At K equals to 1, what came out as the answer? 31. At k equals to 2, what will come out as the answer? 30 into 2 plus 1, that is 16. At k equals to 3, what will come out as the answer? Let us see. 30 into 3 plus 1. What does it denotes? This denotes is 31 is the first number which when divided by 2, 3 and 5 leaves a remainder of 1. It denotes 61 is the second number which when divided by 2, 3 and 5 leaves a remainder of 1. It denotes that 91 is the third number which when divided by 2, 3 and 5 leaves a remainder of 1. Similarly, 121 will be the fourth number. Similarly, 151 will be the fifth number. Because at the interval of 30, 30 they are increasing. Why 30? Because the LCM is 30. So, by changing the value of this constant of proportionality that is k, we have to reach a number which satisfies this form as above 1000. So, now we have to use a bit of our calculation. 30 into 10 is 300. 30 into 20 is 600. And 30 into 30 is 900. Still we have not crossed 1000. We have to cross 1000. So the very next number is 30 into 31. What will be it? 930. 30 to 32, what will be it? 960. 13 to 31. 930, 13 to 32. 960, 13 to 33. 990. And as soon as we will do this, 13 to 34, we will reach 1020. 1020 is a number which is greater than 1000 and is exactly divisible by 2, 3, and 5. Now what we will do? We will add 1 to it. That is the constant of proportionality that is to be used to solve this question of 1000. We have to do something like this. At k equals to 34, this must come out as 30 to 34 plus 1, which is 1021. So, my answer is 1021. That is 1021 is that smallest 4 digit number, which when divided by 2, 3 and 5, leaves a remainder of 1. This is the concept. You have to understand in this form. So the second question which was that we have to reach to the smallest possible 4 digit number of this form, this was the way to do it. The general form was there and this is also the way to solve the third question. In the third question we have to find out the largest possible 4 digit number. So we have to proceed by this way only. We have to change these constants. But in that case we have to change the constants a bit, you can say a bit in a more elegant and in a more you can say procedural manner. Now, if we have to solve this question by procedure, then we have to reach 1000, which is near the multiple of 30. So we can do this in this manner also. What we will do is that, this was the shortcut which we did. 
we will divide 1000 by 30. Because we have to search for a multiple which is of 30 which is above the value of 1000. So when divide by 1000 divided by 30, then it will come out as 90, 10, 100, 33 and 90. 10 is the remainder. That means if we subtract this 10 from 1000, what is this 10? When we divide a number 1000 by 30, what does this mean? What does division mean? When we divide 1000 by 30, it means that we are distributing these 1000 items into pairs of 30, 30, 30. And whatever remainder comes, that means that this remainder is the extra amount which cannot be uh, compiled in the group of 30. This is the remainder. I again repeat, if you divide 1000 by 30, it means that we are dividing 1000 items into groups of 30. And whatever the remainder is, that remainder cannot be compiled in a group of 30. So it is a remainder. So if we remove that remainder from the main item, all rest of the items will be able to be compiled in a group of 30. This is what I am trying to say here. That means here that this 10 is extra. This 10 cannot be compiled in the group of 30. So if we subtract this 10 from 1000, what will we be left with? 990. And 990 items can be divided into groups of 30. So 990 is a division. Sorry, is a number which is near 1000 and divisible by 30. But we have to find a number which is above 1000. So we are going to add 30 in it. And we will reach to 1020. और इफ यू हैव टू लर्न इट अगर आपको रटना है तो आप सीधे सीधे क्या करेंगे कि 10 और 30 के बीच बुक किताबों में कैसे लिखा होता है द वे व्हिच इज विद व्हिच दिस इज रिटन इन बुक्स इट इज रिटन समथिंग लाइक दिस 10 यू सबट्रैक्ट 10 फ्रॉम 30 व्हाट यू विल गेट 20 यू ऐड दिस टू 2000 ये बुकों में लिखा होता है अच्छा अच्छा फिगर बना के ग्राफिक्स बना के और घुमा फिरा के एरो के साथ ये लिख देते हैं द पॉइंट इज दैट वी आर नॉट डूइंग दिस दिस 10 कैन नॉट बी अरेंज इन द ग्रुप ऑफ 30 so when we subtract this 10, what is remained? 990. 990 is divisible by 30. So if we add 30 to 990, 1020 will come and 1020 will also be divisible by 30. It is the same thing. The same thing is this thing. If we subtract 10 by 30, then we can say that 20 is remaining. If we add 20 to this 1000, then 120, 1020 will be obtained. And 1020 is divisible by 30. So you look at it in this manner or other manner. Either you subtract 10 from 1000, you get 990 and add 30 to 990 or you subtract this 10 from 30 to get to know what quantity is missing in order to make this number divisible by 30. Then 30 minus 10 will come out as 20, you will add this 20 to 1000, it will come out as 1020 and 1020 is divisible by 30. So this is the manner to proceed in this thing. So we got 1020 as the smallest number which is divisible by 2 and 3 and 5, smallest 4 digit number and when we add 1 to it, we get 1021. So 1021 is the smallest 4 digit number which when divided by 2, 3 and 5 leaves a remainder of 1. <coughs> this is the answer of second question. Now I come to my third question. Sorry by mistake, I also wrapped apart that formula. The formula was something like this. I will write it again. LCM of A comma B comma C to the whole K plus R. It was something like this. 30K plus 1 in this situation. We have to find out the largest possible 4 digit number which is of this form. Now, what is the largest possible 4 digit number? We all know it is. 9999 or 9999 whatever you say now we have to reach at this number first of all if we reach at a number which is greater than 9999 then it will reach 10,000 and 10,000 is a 5 digit number we have to deal in 4 digit numbers only so we have to look for numbers which are lesser in quantity than 9999 so first of all in order to find a number of this form near 9999 or precisely less than 9999. In order to do that, first we have to find a number which is less than 9999 and divisible by 30. So what we can do? We can do this thing. We divide it by 30. First, 30 minus 90, 9 remaining. Again, 30 is 90, 9 remaining. 
again 36 is a 90. 9 remaining. 9 is a remainder. Subtract this 9 from 9999. Again the same concept. When we are dividing 9999 by 30, what we are doing is that we are trying to distribute 9999 items in groups of 30. And whatever remainder is left, it that remainder denotes those quantities that cannot be compiled, compiled into groups of 30. So these 9 cannot be compiled into groups of 30. So in order to get a multiple of 30 which is less than 9999, we have to subtract this remainder from the main number. That is we have to subtract this 9 from 9999. And what we will get? We will get something like 9990. This 9990 is divisible by 30. So 30k which is less than 9999 comes out as this. And when we add 1, we will get this. 9991. So 9991 is the largest possible 4 digit number which when divided by 2, 3 and 5 leaves a remainder of 1. This is the way of doing this thing. I can tell you this thing. In this case 9999 was the largest number. We have to find a number which is less than 9999 and of this form. So in order to find it of this form, first we will find a number which is less than 9999 and is of the form 30k. So we divided 9999 by 30 and the remainder was 9. Now when we divided these 9999 items into groups of 30, 9 were not being able to arrange in groups of 30. So we removed these 9 from the main number. That is 9999 minus 9. What was left? 9990 was left. This 9990 is divisible by 30. So I wrote it here and when I add plus, I made sure that when this number will be divided by 2, it will leave a remainder of 1. When this number will be divided by 3, it will leave a remainder of 1. And when this number will be divided by 5, it will leave a remainder of 1. This is the main way, the procedural way of doing this thing. Now what is the shortcut? The shortcut is very simple in this case. That just look at this thing, that 9999. We can by looking at this number say that, that it is divisible by 9. 9999 is divisible by 3. 9999 is divisible by 11. These three things I can see. I have to make it divisible by 30. If a number which is less than 9999 has to be divisible by 30, then it has to be divisible by factors of 30. And what are the factors of 30? 3 and 10. So obviously, 9999 is not a factor of 10, so it cannot be divisible by 30. So which is the number which is less than 9999 divisible by 10? It will be 9990, obviously, because 9990 consists of 1, 0, and 30 also consists of 1, 0. It is a very simple concept. If a number has to be divisible by 30, it has also be to be, it is to be divisible by 3 and 10 also, because 3 and 10 are factors of 30, and if it has to be divisible by 30, if it has to be divisible by 10, there should be one zero in it. So 9999 was not having any zero in it. So the number which is less than 9999 and has a zero is 9990. So 9990 is that number which is divisible by 30. So 9990 is that, that largest four digit number which is divisible by 30 and we will add one to it and again we will reach to this answer. This is a sort of shortcut. If you want to use it comfortable with it, then you use it. Otherwise, this is the right method. So this was the whole thing about LC model 1. With this I have finished LC model 1 and um, I have taken up only one question. Actually the lectures which I have to take up in subsequent classes are very large. So in order to take those lectures I cannot denote a huge amount of time in explaining questions to you right now. I will explain questions to you in my subsequent lectures. Kindly give me good feedback if you are liking these lectures. If you are liking these lectures, I will love to upload more lectures. If you are not liking it, it is of no use for me to upload more lectures. In this lecture, I told you about LCM Model 1, LCM Type 1. In the next lecture, I will tell you about LCM Type 2. And if possible, I will also tell you about LCM Type 3. So thank you for listening to my video tutorial. My name is Harshit Divedi and uh, thanks. Goodbye.